Uh, welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. We're going to have a quick look at uh, multi lock interactive uh, profile cylinder. I was watching another video, I think it was um, Phil Moss or another locksmith there online, and I noticed that his workbench was probably about the same as mine messy and um, projects everywhere. So I've attached the camera to the workbench for this um, for this video and as you can tell you're on a bit of a funny angle there mainly being because it's hard to get the right angle uh, the camera and me don't fit on the bench at the same time. Now these particular uh, multi-lock cylinders they come with um, hardened pins um, compared with the normal type of brass pins that you'll see in your regular locks. These are master pins also known as control pins but uh, yeah they basically just made out of brass these ones here are made out of some other type of hard metal, like nickel, silver, or I'm not sure exactly of the makeup, but they're a lot harder and they're a lot harder to drill if you can see them there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to be changing this uh, cylinder here, which is brand new, uh, comes from the factory just on a preset service key, and I'm going to be changing it to um, a customer's key, which is here. So, this is just a reference video. So, I'm going to use my uh, special key here, and I'm just going to pull this lock apart by putting it in and I'm going to use this tool here other people have different names I think it's called a yoke tool or in Australia we just call it a, a, a basically a profile cylinder tool and um, yeah I probably should have put that in first but uh, not to worry just have to reset the top pins have actually just fallen straight into uh, straight into a spot I really didn't want them to but uh, not a problem we can reset that and start again let's get this pick up the side and push down all those top pins that have fallen into our side where the key is no longer okay so there we have it I've turned it round I'm gonna put this tool in now flip it around here turn it on the right angle because if you pull it out on the wrong angle everything goes everywhere I mean, I prefer this over other systems like Bylock and uh, and um, Asa Abloy, the Abloy Dislock Pro and all. It's just so much easier to work with. So, first of all, I'm tapping out little ball bearing, which is on the side. And um, <clears throat> I've got a tip stop at the back, which simply goes straight in the back there to line the, to line the key up with. Uh, when you have a look at this cylinder too, some of the impressive features is um, there's a pin in there, a hardened pin anti-drill protection and if you look this way they've put in another two going that way as well on top of that they're throwing in a ball bearing on the side which just sits in the side in one of these positions here too so it would be a real mongrel to try and drill this uh, type of cylinder out uh, if that isn't enough the material is harder than brass as well it's got a nice ha uh, half a moon shape disc right in there which is just held in just there if you can see it basically sits right there so if you try and drill the shear line you're gonna you're gonna hit that um, hardened plate which sits in behind it so the way i like to do this is just tip all the pins out all, all except for the second one second one being the floating element there and just tip them all out next thing i like to do is just look through the key look through the chambers there and then line up where the pins need to be sitting that way i can sit it on my little clamp right here i'll move this over so you can see it I can sit it on my little clamp and get a good indication that the pins I'm putting in actually do correspond. So my card is here, you need this card if you want any more keys duplicated and if you buy a lock it comes with the lock. So you can take this in to any other multi-lock dealer and they can produce you a key from that card. That card means you've got authorization. So I can see the code on here, so it's um, basically here, CZ, D, BB and a few other for the internals. First one is the external, first one is the internal pins because these particular lock work on two types of pins, outer and inner. So the first thing I need to do is start finding my correct pin and to do that they give you this little chart right here so I line it up and I'm looking for a C and that's a C right there. The pins being expensive and brand new it's always best to just recycle them as you go. Now this is uh, the next one is a D and the thing about this pin is here if I can show it to you, um, it's actually a split pin. So you're not going to be able to see it from there, but I'll try and give you a good look at it. I've just pulled it apart there. So that's a pin that's been, uh, you've got a top and a bottom section. So what that means is, is when you start trying to bump it, 
uh, it's going to separate and split within the within the chamber and create a jamming effect so a really cool little pin they've designed there a lot of engineering has gone into that uh, pin and the tolerances on these are just so uh, so good you know there's no um, there's no messing around they're um, they're actually quite precise these pins are made perfectly so next one's a B so just put my B in there and I need another B I might even have one here on the bench okay now the now we do the inner ones so I'm looking for a two I found a one so I've got myself a two a couple of twos just checking it over yep here's my two um, I've got my uh, floating element which is a zero so now I'm looking for a three nope there's a three but by doing it this way I can see that the key is actually going to work biggest thing is if you um, if you key it all up and then put it in the cylinder and test it to see if it works if you've made a mistake you're going to be jammed up and if you're jammed up it's extremely hard to get these cylinders apart it's not like you can take the, the plugs out or take the top of the chamber out or do anything like that they are all got ball bearings in them and they look like they're press fitted and jammed in there so yeah if you mess up a cylinder a lot of the time you've got to you've got to lose the cylinder and start again so I've put my tip stop in the back of it, I've put my ball bearing on the side so yeah expensive cylinders, I'm just checking down the down the tunnel to make sure that uh, my my following tool here is actually holding everything in place tipping it on the right angle now sliding it in rotating my cam on the back using my tool now to make sure my pins don't drop into that void and then we hear it click 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 testing it beautiful now with these circ clips I'm noticing uh, here they are right here I'll see if I can show you a bit better there okay there they are there so they basically um, go on the side and this drops straight into this hole right here but it's such a fine line that it is pretty hard to get it in there you'll push it on like I just push the circ clip on there right then not sure if you can see that um, I pushed this one just on this is the side we did but if you have a look at this side it's sunk down probably only about a one millimeter different so now you actually have to go through push it in that little bit more until you can see that it is actually you know that one millimeter gap guaranteeing that that uh, circ clip is on there nice and tight last thing you want is that circ clip to come off if it does the whole barrel will come out in the customer's hand and there'll be a very unhappy lock customer so there we have it I've just changed it onto the new keys uh, when you buy a cylinder like this uh, from us it does come with two keys in different countries it comes with two keys in Australia we actually have to key everything up so nothing comes uh, key to like or key to differ everything's keyed up to suit um, that's just a quick little look at this um, euro cylinder that's what we call it in Australia euro cylinder I think in other countries they call it a profile cylinder uh, this one here has the fixed cam where the cam doesn't move used on European mortise locks um, very common overseas, not so common in Australia, but we still do use them from time to time. The other version of the cylinder would be a same shape, but it would have a, a floating cam in the middle, often used on screen doors and things like that. So that's the cylinder right there. It is available from our lock shop, trlock.com.au, and um, that's just a quick look at how, how we build it and put it together. Also give you a little bit of information on the actual lock system, because it is a brilliant system. Uh, the pins are great the tolerances are great uh, master king you can do all that sort of stuff um, i'll give you a look at the pinning kit so there she is there nice expensive pinning kit cost me i think about anywhere from 1200 to 1500 au dollars uh, so it'd be like close to two grand probably in the us and you've got all your master pins your inner and outer pins uh, different size springs top pins preloaded top pins ready to go as you can see that's a preloaded top pin right there with a little bouncy on it um, yeah then you got your inner pins outer pins of course with your your numbers all up the top and yeah it's an awesome awesome system comparing it to just the standard brass which we've, we use every day still using I mean if you have a look at these quality of pins here 
often I pull apart a lock and I find, you know, these pins are filed and the tolerances are, uh, you know, you could have a, a like a key with a number five cut and a number six would work it or a number four would work it. You know, so much, so much tolerance that you're losing security. As where these type of pins right here, there is not much tolerance. Each pin is perfectly rounded. It's, uh, sorry, it's pretty hard to see. Each pin is actually nicely rounded on the top. Each pin is, you know, exactly where it needs to be. So very impressive um, system. And it's available from dlock.com.au. And that's our little video on how to uh, key up a profile cylinder, a multi-lock. Thanks for watching.